This is Vicki, and I'm coming to you from Upper Room Ministries, giving you your daily dose of spiritual oxygen. What to do before a very serious uh, doctor's appointment? You might get some really serious news. Right now, we're getting ready to take my mom uh, to the oncologist. We're going to find out the test results if she has actually stage 4 cancer. Here's the reason for this daily dose. When you're getting ready to face a really big decision, let's get some really big news, deal with some really important stuff. What is your mindset? It's time for a mindset reset to have this thought. Yesterday when I said consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you receive trials of this kind, it would seem kind of odd to say this is pure joy if you think about it in the mind, in the worldly sense. But in the heavenly sense, where do we get our joy? From he who is all joy. Joy in this particular situation is that I'm going to go knowing there's providence before every event. I'm going to go knowing that God gave me this one message. He said, were I to stop thinking of you, even for a moment, you would cease to exist. So my mindset reset is that I'm being thought of in this very moment. God is watching this moment. And he who is all providence, all knowing, all powerful, and always present is with us in this journey and has provided because he's a provider. Does that make sense? So in Psalm 144, 1 and 2, it says, Lord, you've prepared my hands for battle, my fingers for war. You are my safeguard. You are my fortress. You are my stronghold. You are my shield in who I trust, who subdues every affliction beneath me. I'm walking in armed and ready for whatever God has already prepared me for. He lays out my steps. I just have to step on that paver stone, knowing that everything on that paver stone for this moment in time has been provided for. I invite you that no matter what you're going through, children who are ill, financial challenges, infirmities, uh, other diagnoses, Whatever it is, this moment has been provided for. Are you drawing your strength from the throne room of heaven? Or are you too much in your head and not moving in power and authority? This is a gift. Take it. Chew on it. In this way, we operate not from the worldly, but from the heavenly. Because in Isaiah 55, it says, my ways are higher. I'm stepping into his ways are higher. I've been prepared. There's providence before the event. And worry to stop thinking of me even for a moment. I'd cease to exist. So he's thinking of me now. And one of his other messages to me was when I asked him, how do I understand your unconditional love of us? He said, were it a number, it would be infinity. But that would only scratch the surface. This is where I'm drawing my strength from, my courage, my wisdom, everything that I need to move through the next couple of hours. Well, we'll find out what's really going on with her. I pray that this blesses you and that you too are drawing your strength. Oh, I just got it. I hope you did too. From the throne room of heaven. God bless you. And may the mantle of Mary surround and protect you. May the holy angels of war surround you, keeping a hedge of protection between you and the enemy. 500 miles out in every direction. The graces are here. Let us operate with the graces and cooperate with the way in which they work. God bless you. Amen.